Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to download and set up your 2023 digital planner from Notesme. Before we get started, make sure you've downloaded your preferred note taking app to your iPad or your tablet. In today's tutorial, I'll be using GoodNotes. Once you've made your purchase via Etsy, you can download the digital welcome pack by going to your purchases. Just make sure you've signed into your account via a browser instead of using the Etsy app. Once you've downloaded the welcome pack from Etsy, you'll need to import it to GoodNotes. So let's tap the share icon and then from here you can either tap the GoodNotes icon or the option that says open in GoodNotes. If you don't see this option, just tap edit actions and make sure it's been enabled. Once you've imported the welcome pack to GoodNotes, make sure you're in read only mode as we'll be using the hyperlinks across the pack. Step 1 asks you to select your preferred navigation style. At first glance they both look really similar, but navigation style 1 features a navigation bar at the bottom of every page and each of these icons will take you to a key dashboard page within the planner. Navigation style 2 also includes a navigation bar at the bottom of every page, but you'll notice at the top there's a slim navigation bar for quick links to the monthly calendar pages. Once you've chosen your preferred navigation style, click the preferred option to continue. Step 2 asks you to select your preferred weekly and daily layout. To view the various layouts, just tap the headings and as you can see the preview image will automatically update. I'd encourage you to play around with the different options so that you find the combination that works best for you. Once you're happy with your selection, you're ready to move on to step 3 which is downloading your planner. So all of the planners are available in a Monday or Sunday start, so tap to download the planner with your preferred start. Once you've tapped yes to the pop-up, a page will open in Safari and the file will start downloading. Once it's downloaded, tap the share icon and select opening good notes. Again, if you don't see this option, go to edit actions and make sure the options enabled. To download the planner covers and the shortcut icons, tap covers from the navigation menu. As I previously selected navigation style 1, I'll need to download this option. Again tap yes to the pop up and a page will open in Safari. Once the file has downloaded, tap share and tap open in GoodNotes. You can browse through the planner covers until you find the one that you like best but I'd recommend tapping the thumbnail icon just so you can easily scroll through the options. Once you've found your preferred cover, tap the icon with the three dots and then tap copy page. Next, return to your digital planner and tap the thumbnail icon. Next, tap the arrow icon under the original planner cover and tap add page after and then tap paste page. Finally, tap the small arrow under the original cover and tap move to trash. This year I also created matching shortcut icon covers for anyone that wants to create a shortcut to their digital planner. To get started, tap download. And once a zipped file has fully downloaded, it's going to automatically save within the downloads folder of the files app on your iPad. So let's open the files app, go to the downloads folder, and then here we can see the zipped file. To unzip the file, simply tap, and then open the folder, and here you can see all of the different shortcut icon covers. Next, tap select. Select your preferred icon tap share and then tap save image and this is going to save the icon to your photos. Next you'll need to open the shortcuts app and click the plus icon to create a new shortcut. Start by naming your shortcut and then tap apps, tap good notes and then select your digital planner from the options presented on the side. If you can't see your digital planner on the side here then tap back and search for your digital planner instead. Next, tap this icon and select add to home screen. Enter a name for your shortcut 
and then tap the icon, select choose photo, tap your icon cover, tap use and finally tap add. You'll now see your shortcut saved to your home screen and when we tap on this icon it will automatically open your digital planner. Next we'll be downloading the digital stickers. Here you can see a preview of all of the different styles and colours across the labels, sticky notes and widgets. For GoodNotes users I've created GoodNotes collections as this will allow you to easily save your stickers to elements and if you use an alternative note taking app I've also provided the stickers as PNG files. So let's start with the GoodNotes collections. Tap to download and like before the zipped file will automatically save within the downloads folder of the files app. Tap to unzip the file and then open the folder and here you'll notice it looks like all of these files are still zipped but all you need to do is tap the file, select share and then tap the GoodNotes app icon. This will prompt GoodNotes to open and you'll see all of the stickers in a collection. So tap create to save the collection to elements. To access your stickers, enable edit mode and then tap the elements icon and from here you can see all of your collections at the bottom and if we tap a collection we can see the stickers and just tap and this will import the sticker. For those of you that use an alternative note taking app, tap to download the PNG files. Again the zip file will automatically save within the downloads folder of the files app. Let's tap to unzip the file. And when you open the folder, you'll see that all of the PNG files have been organized into different folders. To save the digital stickers, tap select, tap select all, tap share, and then select the save image option. This will save all of the stickers to your photos. And from there, you would simply import the stickers as images using your preferred note taking app. The first page of the planner tip section provides an overview of how to navigate across the key sections of the planner and there's also an overview of how to navigate between dated pages. The next page of the planner tip section provides some brief guidance on breaking down goals and an overview of different ways of using the morning mindset section that's featured on two of the daily layouts. I wanted to make it really easy and intuitive to flow between the dated pages. That's why the general rule is wherever you see a reference to a year, a month, a week or a date, it's hyperlinked and it will take you to the respective page. Here we have the calendar view and from here you can easily navigate to any month, week or day. If I tap January, it will take me to the January calendar view and then I can tap 2023 to go back. I can also select any week and then tap 2023 to go back. Can also tap any day to go to the daily page and then tap 2023 to go back. On the monthly calendar view you've got the weeks on the side and all of the days have also been hyperlinked and will take you to the daily page. So if I tap a week this will take me to the weekly page and I can return to the monthly calendar view by tapping the reference to the month. I can also go to any of the daily pages by tapping the date and again, just tap the reference to the month to return to the monthly calendar view. Finally, on the weekly pages, all of the dates here have been hyperlinked and will take you to the daily page. And simply tap the reference to the week to return to the weekly page. The final tab is a user guide. And whilst I've covered most of the information in today's tutorial, there are a few other things that you might find helpful, especially if you're new to GoodNotes. Lastly, I wanted to let you guys know about the monthly newsletter that's launching in January. So it will feature things like productivity tips, digital planning tips, and every month there will be freebies. So if that's something you're interested in, check out the description box for details on how to subscribe. 
I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and I wish you all the very best for 2023.